A derby match in the Italian winter sunshine. Zebre suffered defeat in both Pro 12 encounters with Treviso last season, but they were close games and coach Andrea Cavanato was able to include six Italian internationals who played in the autumn series, seeking a second win of the campaign. Treviso's last match in Glasgow pre-Christmas was called off, so coach Marius Goosen was taking charge for the first time. He named a strong lineup as the home side sought their first win in the league since beating Connacht in Series 5. It took until the 12th minute for the opening score to arrive. Brendan Leonard reacted quickly when the visitors were awarded a penalty close to the Treviso line. And Dries van Schalkvik flung the ball wide to second row Marco Bortolami, who found himself on the wing. And in a mismatch, the big Italian international wasn't going to be stopped by tackler Bergqvist getting over in the corner for the touchdown. The ref checked with the TMO to ensure that the try was good, which was confirmed. And although Orquero was just off target with the conversion, Zebre had a 5-0 lead. With his third kick of the afternoon, Orquera eventually found his range with this 18th-minute penalty to extend Zebre's lead to 8-0. But much of the away side's hard work was undone immediately when Brendan Leonard's clearance kick was charged down by Cornelius Van Zyl Great work by the South African-born Italian international, getting the block in and in for the try for his first score of the season. Bergqvist landed an excellent conversion to bring Treviso back to within a point of their opponents, seven points to Zebre's eight. In what was proving to be an open game, the away side thought they'd scored their second try of the afternoon in the 24th minute. Winger Dion Berryman broke away and found Orquera inside him with the out half just getting over the line for the touchdown. But their joy was short-lived when the referee checked once again with the TMO and the man in the van confirmed that Berryman had knocked on before running clear and the try was correctly disallowed. The home side went in front for the first time two minutes before the half-time break. Robert Barbieri did very well to break the tackle and make significant headway into the Zebra 22. And when Manoa Vasawi picked it up, he used his considerable bulk to get over the line for the try. The Fijians' first score of the season, and it left Bergqvist with a simple conversion to put Treviso 14 8 ahead, and that's how it remained at half time. Three minutes after the break, Zebre edged back in front. Van Schalkwijk had played an important part in their opening try, and he played an even bigger part in this one, pushing his way through the tacklers and over the line for a try under the posts. The man from Blomfontein's first try of this season's campaign, and Orquera slotted the conversion over to put Zebre 15-14 ahead. In a game that was delicately poised, Benetton went back ahead on 59 minutes, Bergqvist kicking a good penalty, cheered on by a crowd of just under 5,000 at the Stadio Monigo. Treviso dominated territorially after that, but Zebre had a chance to go back into the lead in the 73rd minute. Substitute and former Treviso player Giulio Tognolatti attempted a drop goal but unfortunately for him and the men in black and white, his kick was wide of the mark and Treviso remained ahead. Then inside the last five minutes, the home side extended their lead to five points when Bergqvist notched another penalty and this one made it 20 points to 15. Zebre finished the match with 13 men as first Quinton Gelden Hayes was yellow carded for a late challenge on Berkvist. And just moments later, sub Filippo Ferrarini suffered the same fate for a similar offence on Tobias Botes. There would be no way back for Cavanato's side after that, although they collect a losing bonus after a five point defeat. The two sides meet again in Parma in a week's time. The final score after a very entertaining match at the Stadio Monigo, Benetton Treviso 20, Zebre 15.